Hi, my name is Frank DiDemizio. I'm going to do a short shop tour today and show you what my shop looks like and the things I have in here. Uh, the size of my shop is approximately 14 feet by 21 feet. My shop is laid out uh, mainly for wood turning. I heat it with a 220 heater, which you can see here. It's in the third bay of a garage. I have some woodworking equipment here, like my chop saw. And you can see my jumbo jaws here that I use for turning the back of a bowl. As we look into my shop, you will see I have a center table. And this is used for just storing things. And I also have a carving and wood burning set up here and a small station for honing tools. You can see down below is another little uh, heater that I use, just one of these uh, inexpensive oil heaters. So with the 220 shop heater and the oil heater, that's all I use to heat my shop. It's, uh, it's fully insulated. And I have three windows in my shop. There's one, two, and third window with a door. And then at the very front of the shop, as you saw, there's a full garage door. So I can leave it fully open for airflow and removing the dust. Up here you'll see my sanding station. I have my dust mask which I use all the time when I'm wood turning to keep the dust out of my lungs. You'll see some storage cabinets there with all of my discs for sanding. I have a small, a small vacuum cleaner that I keep here next to my lathe uh, for uh, taking the shavings out of hollow forms or for just blowing dust off. This is my sanding station right here, and you can see I have two power drills and a variety of mandrels with different grits on it. My main lathe here is my Robust American Beauty, and it's positioned so that it actually faces away from the wall, so I can look out onto the rest of the shop, the shavings go out, and this is also a very good setup for teaching because I can get around to the other side of the lathe while the student is, is being taught. For tool storage, I mainly have a lot of my tools just in a bucket with some tubes in it, and I primarily use the bowl gouge and a few scrapers for most of my work. I do also have tool storage here on the wall. And a little bit more tool storage again in, in discs or tubes. So this is my lathe set up here. And I have a a, a big piece on there now which I can turn down really really slow because I have electronic variable speed. Very handy for when you're doing large pieces. For dust collection, I have a dust collector that's actually located in a separate room and I run a hose line, dust collection line, to my lathe when I'm in the middle of turning. I'll just show you exactly what that setup looks like now. So if I'm, if I'm sanding the piece, I will put this dust collection unit here and run a dust collection hose to the unit just across the floor and use that while I'm sanding. 
For sharpening tools, I have two grinders. This is a general grinder here, low speed grinder with two CBN wheels on it. And this is another grinder here, a Rikon grinder with one CBN wheel on it and a traditional aluminum oxide wheel on the other side. My second lathe is this one right here. It's a general 260, 20 inch capacity. And I use it for smaller things. And I also have it normally set up for my vacuum chuck. Along the wall here, I have a, my drill press and my bandsaw. Here you can see the, uh, the General 260 and there's a small vacuum chuck on it right now. And if we move to the other side, you will see here the vacuum at attachment and I use the one-way vacuum system. This is a small inverted drill that I can put a one-inch pad on to do the bottom of bowls. Sometimes you need to remove the very small little piece at the very bottom. And over here I have a sander that I use from time to time. Not very much for wood turning, but uh, I use it periodically. And on top of my bookcase here, you'll see the one-way coring system. So I use that as well for coring large pieces. I keep my wood in the center garage unit I have. I have some large storage racks where I keep my dry wood. For my wet wood, I typically keep it outside just in a lean-to or tarped over. So here's my storage racks again. And you can see I have a variety of blank shapes there. In the corner, just outside my shop, is another rack for storage. And I have my dust collection system here in a separate room. And you can see the door here, when we open the door from one part of my garage into the final part of the garage, you can see we're back into the workshop again. This is again just a look at my workbench in the center of my workshop. And this is the station where I do carving and wood burning. You can see a piece here with some wood burning on it. And you can see my wood burning units and my carving pieces there. And I also have uh, wood carving units that are like a Fordham Weechier type of wood carving system. Now we're inside my home and just outside my workshop. We're just taking a slow look at some of my pieces. I keep this close to the entrance of the workshop and it's just a display on some shelving that shows a variety of my work. It's good for people to see when they come over. And my home is attached directly to my shop so I can go in very close and not have to go in the outdoor elements when I want to use the shop. And that's the end of my tour.